We're going to be going live here in a minute. I'm sharing the celebration items today. All right, so we're just going to double check, make sure all of our technical things are working. Things are working. Okay, so it looks like YouTube is working great. That's good. And let's double check Facebook. All right, sorry. So if you're joining me, go ahead and say hello. It's always fun to see who's here. Hello to Lori and Connie. Glad you're here today with me. Okay, just wanna make sure the volume is working on Facebook as well. I know I was kind of quiet there for a minute. Just wanna make sure the volume is working on Okay. Great. So please share your comments. Would love to see you know, what you're loving, things like that. Okay. There we go. Now I can see the comments. Perfect. There we go. Now I can see the comments. Perfect. There we go. Now I can see the comments. Okay, we're getting some feedback here. Let me turn off that. We will get started. So glad you guys could join me today. There are a ton of celebration items that I want to share with you so that you can kind of start making your wish list. And celebration does begin on January 4th and it goes through the end of February. So it ends on February 9th is the last day that you can order to get these free items. Now, if you're not familiar with celebration, it is the best time of year at Stampin' Up! because for every $50 order or increments of $50, you're going to be able to choose products from this catalog. There are two levels. The first level is $100 or $50. So there are some products, most of them are $50 level. Um, and then there are some products that are at a $100 level. So for every $100, you can pick some of these. Um, there's like bundles and things or dyes. Anyway, I'll show you. I'll let you know which are which. So obviously, if you spend $100, you can pick either $100 level or two fifty dollar $50 level. So that would be an example. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. And I'm happy to kind of clarify it if that was confusing. Hello to everyone. Connie said she did another pre-order after watching the video. That's awesome, Connie. I'm excited for you to get more things. Thanks, Karen. She says it looks good on both Facebook and YouTube today. Perfect. And Rita is here. Hello, Rita. Joanna, Lisa, Jean. It's always fun to see so many friends visiting and joining me um, live today. So I'm going to, I cannot show you the inside of the catalog yet. So I'm going to just open it up off screen and we're going to just walk through it. I'm going to make sure to tell you what are the $50 items and which ones are the $100 items. 
So I'm just going to start from the beginning and go through the end. So we might kind of jump through paper and stamps and all that other stuff later. Um, I will do my best to tell you any anything if there's like a particular product that it coordinates with. Um, and if I have it, I'll show you, okay. My craft room right now is a little bit of a disaster because I am currently trying to make my cards for my next class. So things are kind of all over the place. So there is a punch that coordinates with this and I shared it yesterday and I thought it was still here near me, but maybe I moved it. Let me just take one minute to find it. Oh, there it is. I knew it was close by. Okay, so the first item that's in the catalog is this watercolor melon stamp set. It is free with a $50 purchase. It's really fun and it does coordinate with this modern oval punch and it will cut out the whole watermelon here. The um, examples that they have in the catalog are super cute. And so it, it definitely was a fun one that I wanted to get. No sentiments. So you would be able to um, use another stamp set um, for that. Okay, it is a photopolymer so that you can stack like the images. So there's a rind for like the triangles for the half watermelon and then this really cute vine and then some seeds as well some options in that hi whitney so that's the first one the second is some paper let's grab it this one is called sunny days and it does coordinate with one of the stamp sets or bundles that are in the new catalog as well. It's so fun when things coordinate together, it makes it much easier to create projects. I want to show you all this pretty paper too. So it's 12 by 12, as you can tell, and they are double sided. And I haven't actually looked at these. This is a really fun pattern. And most of it is clouds, and then it has maybe a fourth of it is are these cute raindrops so that's a really fun one then we've got kind of some poppies and a petal pink check let me give you a close-up of that here we have a nice dark green this feels like shaded spruce to me and they've got some beautiful flower designs there Oh, Jean just told me, I just saw Jean, your comment. She says that the half punch or the modern oval punch works with that half watermelon as well. So that's a great, thank you for letting me know about that. This one is some kind of a teal rainbows with blues and greens. It's a fun pattern. Then we have some strawberries, hand-drawn. And the opposite side are butterflies, but very um, hand-drawn as well. What am I trying to say? They're um, more of like a background pattern. I wouldn't say that that's like a focal point a butterfly pattern. Here are some really fun hand-drawn flowers. And then we've got, oh, this is cute. There's kind of a pattern with some sun rays. Can you see the detail? Maybe I need to get a little closer. There we go. That's really cute. It's on a yellow background, so when I, Showed it closer in the video. The background kind of muted out to be white, but it is yellow. This one is a cherry pattern. It has kind of a gray background stripe to it. And then it has some tiny little cherries on it as well. Can you see that gray stripe? That's a really fun look. 
And then we've just got a really simple kind of pool party color with a thin diagonal stripe to it. It makes me feel like it's a little bit like a rain pattern. So those are the 12 patterns in that pack. Let me grab really quickly the um, stamp and bundle that coordinates with this paper. So it's that Bright Skies bundle. And I shared this on Tuesday. And I'm guessing that these dyes probably cut out some of these clouds because they look to be really similar shapes. So there's that one. And this one definitely do. So, and then there's obviously that same shape being repeated with different patterns. So really fun combination here. So if you were to buy the Bright Skies bundle, it's just under $50. So you'd have to get one more little accessory or something to get you over $50 and then you can get the pack for free. So this is a $50 item here. Gloria says the DSP looks springy. Definitely, it's a perfect one to move us from winter to springtime. Okay, let's move to the next pack of paper. I love birds. And so this one is really fun. This one's called Flight and Airy. So Flight is F-L-I-G-H-T. I don't know if that came across correctly. It's a 12 by 12 pack with 12 sheets. Whoops, just like the other one, there's going to be two of every sheet so that you can use both sides of the paper. So beautiful watercolor birds in lots of bright colors, blues, yellows, pinks, reds, oranges. It's lovely. And then on the other side, this one's got a pecan pie, I'm guessing, in kind of a medallion shape. Really simple, beautiful pattern here. Coordinates nicely with the other pattern. This one's pretty. This one kind of you can use as like a fussy cut for some um, more of a focal point instead of a background if you wanted. And then we've got a very pretty, um, what color would you say this is? Lost Lagoon, kind of leaf and some of these birds it's hard to tell which ones are birds and which ones are leaves because they have a similar shape but there's birds and leaves on these branches deb says happy holidays to everyone she's over on facebook happy holidays to you too deb i love the softness of this pattern here with those beautiful watercolored flowers it's really gorgeous Again, easy to fussy cut these out. And then a watercolor wash in a blue. Okay, Gloria says that she loves this DSP, DSP and she did get it. Do, do I know if there is a stamp set that coordinates? She couldn't see any except the sentiment, but maybe I know of one. So there is a beautiful bird um stamp set i'm trying to remember which one it is but they don't specify it in the catalog if there is a coordinating stamp so i will need to kind of look really quickly to see if i can find the bird one so this is kind of more of a cleaner pattern here this one i feel like is very loose with their watercolor this one's a little tighter has a little crisper edge to it and a little smaller as well but still really beautiful. And then we've got kind of a blue background with some small floral elements on this other side. Gloria says she saw a hummingbird one. Yes, there is a hummingbird, but it doesn't quite have the same style. So um, I think there is a bird one. It might be in the annual catalog and not in the mini. 
Um, let me look into it a little bit for you in just a minute. So this one is really cute, another bird pattern. And then we've got kind of a fresh freesia background here. And then some individual birds that you could fussy cut out. And a petal pink, maybe, background with some flowers on it. And those are the 12 patterns. I love that they are one side has like larger images and then one has those smaller ones that you can use kind of more as a background element. They're really pretty paper. Okay, slide that one back in. So this is a $50 pack. So you um, can get that for when you purchase $50. And then another product that is a celebration item is this pool party um, crinkle ribbon. So I wanted to open this up and take a look at it. This is also a $50 item. So when you purchase $50, you could choose either the paper or the ribbon, or if you were to spend 100, then you could get both. Okay, does that make sense? So this is really thin. Um, it's got a crinkle texture to it. Let's see how it ties a bow. Sorry, again, I need to do it in the camera. So it's definitely a fun look. The way I tied it kind of made the bow a little funky, but um, I think it does make a really beautiful bow. You can see that the knot is not too thick because it is so thin, but it does give a lot of volume, which is really nice because of that crinkle. So you do get a beautiful big bow without using, like having a huge thick knot in the middle. So I think it also would be beautiful, like created with a faux bow or wrapped behind a greeting. You know, so I do think that's really pretty. And again, I like that it's thin, but still has a lot of volume. Okay, so the next thing is a stamp set. This one is called Cradled in Love. Did I not get it? Oh, I don't know if I did. I don't know anyone who's having a baby. So when I had to choose, because I couldn't get them all, I decided to, to not get this one right away. So that might be one that I do in the future. So sorry that I don't have that. But it's called Cradled in Love. I'd show it to you if I can, could, but I can't. But it has like a bassinet, a little mobile, a rug, and then some really cute greetings in it. So that's a fun one. Let's go to some paper. Uh, Jean says, perched in a tree, maybe. Yes, perched in a tree does have a beautiful, whoops, sorry guys. It does have a beautiful bird. And I think that's a really good option. So let's grab that um, bird one really quick and just see, let's find a nice big bird so we can kind of compare. I saw them at the, oh, of course, that's the one here. Oh yes, I would definitely say the perched in a tree is a good option because that bird is has a really similar shape. And so if you wanted to um, have something that was a little more structured and have a stamp to go with it, then I definitely think that's a great one. Um, Jean, thank you so much for that suggestion. And then Connie says, might be the bird under the seasonal branches. Let's look at that too. So she says in the annual catalog on page 21, oh yeah, that would be a good option too. So there's a tiny little bird, same kind of shape, and it does have some really fun greetings that you could go with it. And I think that was the bird that they used in the uh, celebration catalog. So 
some two options there for you if you're interested in getting something to coordinate, Gloria. All right, let's go to this next paper. This is called Softly Stippled. It coordinates with the Stippled Roses bundle, which I did not get. So um, I can't show it to you, but it is in the mini catalog on page 64. So if you already have your mini catalog, you can grab it and take a quick look at what it coordinates with. This is a, a free item when you purchase $50 and it has that stippled look. So stippling is where you kind of have little dots that kind of come together to make images. And so there are really no hard lines here. I can tell that all of the images are created with small dots. Fun colors, you've got a combination of Calypsal Coral, Lost Lagoon, Pebbled Path, Pool Party, and Wild Wheat. So that's really pretty, kind of beautiful background. And then kind of a painted texture of a light version of Pebbled Path is kind of what I think. Kind of lightened maybe to like a smoky slate Pebbled Path combination here. Really pretty together. I'm excited to use these papers. This one is a flower pattern on some calypsal coral background. Again, no hard lines, everything is stippled, but when they come together, it looks like hard lines. And then another really beautiful neutral textured paper. This feels more like a canvas, has a canvas look to it. Here we have some leaves some foliage, and I would say this is wild wheat. That's the color here, with some pool party canvas on the other side. This one has some, like a little stronger texture to it with those little white uh, stitches. Here we have Pebble Path on a white background. Okay, going back to the bird, there is um, another one called Inspirational Sketches on page 65 of the new mini that has a bird in it too. So maybe we can check that one out. And then Eclipsal Coral painted texture here. We have a pool party with some small flowers on it. This one feels a little more solid, not as many um, dots. And then the other side is kind of a burlap with wild wheat. And then we've kind of have some branches, some vertical branches. And then we have flowers and leaves with a combination of colors here. And on the back, we have more wild wheat in a painted texture. So if you love wild wheat, you will love this pack. I do see how it's, it works really pretty with these other colors. So it's not a color that I use a lot of, but I do see how pretty it can be with the Calypso Coral and the Lost Lagoon, Pebble Path, and Pool Party. So again, that's the softly stippled paper. And it does coordinate with the stippled roses bundle. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to look at the catalog on page 65. It has the inspirational sketches. I think that's the one with the hummingbird. Is that right? Oh no, there is another one. So there is another bird and I don't have the stamp set so I can't show it to you, but it actually is across the catalog from the stippled roses. So there's another really pretty bird there that would work to coordinate with that paper. If you're interested, it's called Inspirational sketches on page 65 of the new mini catalog. So lots of options there, Gloria. We all jumped in to help you out. 
So I love that this celebration catalog this year also includes more embellishments. So we have the ribbon that you can get. And then there is this pack of opaque faceted gems. The colors come in Calypso Coral, Pecan Pie, and Pool Party so that you can use it with that paper that I just showed since most of those colors are there. I had a couple of them shift around, but it's, I'm pretty sure they still have their adhesive on the back, so that's fine. So three colors and two sizes. So we have um, usually there's 10 across, so that looks like maybe about 30 of each color and then 20 of the larger color of those two. And it, does, it would look so pretty with this paper. Let me pull out a pattern or two. So you can see how that dark color would really pop against it. A little bit of the pool party would be pretty. So it coordinates nicely with that and it coordinates nicely even with the ribbon because that's pool party there too. It's so nice to get a little bit of everything for free when you purchase these products, Stampin' Up! products. So $50, purchase $50 and you can choose the um, faceted gems as well. The one problem is these products are also great so that you're going to want to get them all for free. So your wish list might get pretty big. Okay, so the other P paper is mostly adored. And it has, it's this one here. And it's a 12 by 12. And it's a specialty paper. You can also still get it for with a $50 item uh, purchase for free. So this is free with a $50 purchase from Stampin' Up! During in the month of in the month of January and February. Sorry, my tongue is getting all tied up. It is gorgeous. There are 12 sheets and one side looks like they have white with a gold foil. Can you see that gorgeous foiling there? This has a small flower on it. And then the other side I think is the colored side. So this is Flirty Flamingo. So it includes a gold foil and Flirty Flamingo and real red colors. So really fun for Valentine's Day or really any time of the year. They've got kind of this marble look on this one. And then a red uh, diagonal checker. But I like that the pattern is unique. It's not something we've seen before. We've got kind of a square checker with the white stitching and then a light maybe a flirty flamingo running through some of them so that's it's nice to have something just a little different than the normal checkered and then this one is more another plaid in gold and white very beautiful i'm trying to show you the shine of it and the other side has some um, hearts and they're kind of in a floral pattern and it coordinates with the adoring hearts bundle which I really wanted to put on my list but I didn't get it because uh, I just couldn't afford everything and so that is on page 18 of the new mini catalog I think the paper is gorgeous all by itself as well. So if you're like me and you just can't get everything, you can still get this beautiful paper even if you don't purchase the bundle. Cute little red hearts here, or the white hearts on a red background. And this beautiful floral. This would be an easy one to fussy cut out. You could color them as well. This one's fun. It has um, kind of a, what is this, random. So more hearts on the top and bottom and then kind of random spacing in the middle. 
kind of like confetti, but they're the heart shapes. And then a really fun plaid on the background. And then this is a beautiful design. I love kind of the, the rain falling effect that it has. And that's in that gold foil. And then some more hearts. Really heart heavy, very pink, very red, but honestly, the white and gold is gorgeous. So if you're not into Valentine's Day, you can still get this and use the white and gold sides for any projects. But it does coordinate with that bundle. And that bundle is called Adoring Hearts. And this paper is called Most Adored Paper. Okay. And again, another $50 uh, free, like another item you can get for free with a $50 order. I just want to make sure I'm clear that the paper doesn't cost $50. <laughs> Okay, let's go to this one. This is a stamp set. This is another item you can get for free with a $50 order. It is heartfelt hellos. Now I wanna just make sure that I'm clear that you can spend $50, $100, $150 all in one order and be able to choose a product for each group of $50. Okay, so you don't have to actually place a $50 order and then place another $50 order. You can combine all of it together if you're new to the Stampin' Up! world. I just didn't wanna be confusing there. So this is Heartfelt Hellos. There are six different greetings. This one says, Dad, you're the best. Hello, Happy Mother's Day. Thinking of you this Easter. Enjoy your day, love you more. And I love that it's just simple, they work with the holidays that are during like the first half of the year so that you um, can kind of get what you need for your cards or uh, memory keeping or anything like that. It does coordinate with the heartfelt hexagon punch, which is a new punch that's in the mini catalog. Okay. And I think they all fit inside this uh, shape here. So that's really fun. If you love a good punch, which I do. And then we have some more paper. Gotta love paper. This is the last pack of paper that I have. And it is called Trusty Toolbox and it coordinates with the trusty tools bundle which I did get because I thought it was adorable so I'll go grab that really quick so you can see how they work together So we have this really fun stamp set and you can see a lot of those images are being repeated. I do wonder if we can cut some of them out with our dies. So like this one here, is that gonna cut out? Yes, it does. So we've got the wrench and maybe a hammer. What else will it cut out? Is there a paintbrush? I don't see a paintbrush. Maybe the measuring tape. Yep. So that's kind of nice that they are giving us dies that will cut out the paper. This bundle is $54.75. And so you could purchase the bundle and get the paper for free all in one order. Okay, let's take a look at more of this paper. So really fun colors. The co colors it coordinates with are basic black, copper clay, crushed curry, gray granite, lost lagoon, and poppy parade. So perfect colors here. And then on the other side, we have more of a simple pattern. And I do love that they do that. 
And that one looks like a Lost Lagoon pool party combination. It's maybe a little hard to read from the camera because it might wash it out because it's really light, but it is kind of a blue color. This is a fun pattern here. It's just a little screwdriver being repeated on some Poppy Parade paper background. And then a really soft gray granite, maybe, color. No a real uh, pattern there, just kind of a, a wash of some sort. Then we have some hammers in an X. Super cute. This is probably crushed curry. And then we have some little screw heads in a pattern. So different size shapes and sizes of that. And this background is gray granite with the white screw heads on top. And then a a uh, red stripe, but it does feel like there's a little bit of a shadow. Do you guys get that? So it kind of has that toolbox feeling to it, which is really fun. And then another fun pattern with some screws and nuts and bolts and stuff. That background color is definitely Lost Lagoon. It's got more of a green feel to it than blue. And then we have a ruler pattern. This color is crushed curry. And then like a pegboard in copper clay. So most of these patterns are really actually quite simple. They don't have this, I thought they would be more strong patterns like this, but they are very simple patterns. Um, so that's kind of nice. Great background pieces. So then we've got more of the tools and we've, I see that we've got a paintbrush, another hammer. Oh, but the paintbrush doesn't quite fit. Oh, that's because that's the skinny paintbrush. And here we have a wider paintbrush. Another hammer, let's see if this one fits. Oh, that hammer is a different kind. So there's different hammers. Let's see what else maybe we have. I'm seeing a pencil. Yep, so it cuts out the pencil. So that's really fun. I'm trying to see if there's any other matching shapes and I don't see any, maybe you do, but. I wonder if this one would work. No, that doesn't match that side, huh? Okay, so I think that's all of them that I can see. But really easy to even fussy cut these shapes out if you wanted to use them on a project separately. Lisa says she loves this paper and she hopes that I do a class with the trusty tools um bundle that would be fun and then a really beautiful paper on the background that would definitely be fun lisa to do that class i'm going to have one of these fun patterns on the top so that i can see what this is and again this is free with a 50 dollars order and it's called trusty toolbox designer series paper and when you order um, when you place an order through Stampin' Up, you're going to first put into your cart all the things you're paying for. And then at the end, when you're checking out, there will be a section where you can add your celebration products. So just in case you've never um, placed an order with Stampin' Up before. Okay, so we are now getting into the fun Jungle Pals stamp set. This is another product you can get for free with a $50 order. There are five cute little critters and I really cannot tell you what they all are. Um, obviously sloth, tiger, crocodile. I can't tell the difference between crocodiles and alligators. And then a toucan, is that right? I'm trying to remember what this is. What is it? 
but it's not coming to me. Does anybody know? What kind of animal would you say this is? Definitely more of like tropical, and I don't think it's like a monkey. Doesn't feel like a monkey. Anyway, so that's super cute. And there is a coordinating free product, and it is called Jungle Pals. Now, these are dyes, and so you can get these for free with a $100 order. Joanna says a keener. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, a lemur. I was like, I don't know what a keener is. Yes, a lemur. That is what it is. Thank you. Tuacon. Tuacon. Not a tuacon. That is, that's so funny. Tuacon is a theater in St. George that I go to. So that's why my brain went there. But it's a toucan. Toucan? And a lemur. Thank you, Gloria. I knew you guys would help me. Sometimes when I'm put on the spot, my brain stops working, right? Okay, so the Jungle Pals dies. They coordinate with this stamp set, but these are a hundred dollars. Not a hundred dollars. You have to spend a hundred dollars to get these for free. So if you want both of them, then your order would need to be a hundred and fifty dollars or more to be able to get both. Okay. Um, really cute. You can see that they have the coordinating dies to cut out the stamps. Okay, I'm not going to take them all out, but just so you can see that that's what all these open shapes are. But then they have a lot of extra elements that you can use to create really fun scenes. Uh, we have branch uh, leaves, like a like a line of leaves. You could do flowers, separate leaves, like here and here and here another one flower. This is a trunk with some branches that you could have uh, animals sitting on or swinging from. Very fun, very fun set. Uh, Lisa says, alligators have a rounded mouth snout and crocodiles have a longer one. So what do you think, Lisa? Is it an alligator or a crocodile? So those definitely work together. And then we have another one that's kind of a bundle. And it is also free with a $100 order. And it's called Softly Sophisticated. And it comes with the embossing folder. So they're together. So if you were to choose this product, you're going to get both. You don't have to get them separately. So the separate the embossing folder is called Softly Sophisticated. It is a 3D embossing folder. Should we go ahead and emboss some paper with it? Gloria says she thinks it's an alligator. Okay, let me grab some paper. So I just grabbed a little petal pink. I'm going to put it in the center. And let's take a quick look at it. Um, so it creates a stitched element. So they're all little dots that come together to create this pattern in the background. It's really very pretty in person. And the embossing is, is nice and deep. So it's not shallow. The, uh, this is the opposite side. So this is the side that was pressed into. So you could use both sides.
So beautiful stamp set says, hello there. You're in my thoughts. I really appreciate you. And then some flowers. And then these branches, they look a little weird, but that's because the flowers are supposed to go inside them. So they're separated, um, kind of like a two-step stamp. So you would stamp one, and then you'd stamp the other inside. And the same goes for these ones here. So that's kind of the way that would work. Really pretty though. Okay. Here is another item you can get for free with a $100 order. It's called Detailed Dogwood. And it does have some really beautiful details. And it coordinates with a punch that we have. Let me grab the punch. So the punch is the Petal Park Builder Punch, and it's this shape here. So it's not all of the flowers, I don't think. It's just this one on this side. It coordinates with that flower there. Really pretty. The samples in the catalog use like watercolor with it to really make these really gorgeous images. So make sure to check this one out. It is uh, printed in rubber, or not printed, but made in rubber. And so um, it's the cling, right? Yeah, cling stamp, like it says right there. Some fun texture elements that you could do for any cards. It's a fun one. No dies or anything. So if you were to cut stuff out, you would need to fussy cut it. Lisa says the set is beautiful and the embossing folder is beautiful. So we are talking about the softly sophisticated is a beautiful set and I agree. And it's gonna be easy to use. You know, sometimes, you know, like with this one, you can stamp it and have it be beautiful by itself, but I think it's more intended to be colored. While this one is easy because it's all solid images. So you just stamp it in ink and then you're kind of done. So, two different ones both they are um free with a hundred dollar order so this one's a hundred dollars and then this one as a bundle is a hundred dollars um so that's everything but i do want to just make a note and i've got to go grab it because i've been using it and i love it Okay, so just as a note, if you are interested or have thought about joining Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator, they have they always have the best deals during celebration. And this year there are two options. The first one is that you can get this glass mat um, for free, I think. I should double check. Let me, there's a couple other things that come with this, so let me grab those and um, I can show you everything. Okay, so, oh, and I, this is a cleaning rag. It's just like the um, chamois, but it's bigger, and so when it dries out, it just becomes stiff, but you get it wet, and then you can clean your glass mat. So it says, option one is a Stampin' Glass Mat Studio, which is all of these products um, and the value is about $60. So it includes your glass mat, which is 17 inches by 14 inches. So it's 14 inches from top, which is up here to the bottom. But the measurement on the actual mat only goes to four, 13 inches. So it measures there is a um, ruler here on the left side is inches and the left and bottom are inches. I'm not sure if you can see the bottom, but they go to 13. And then um, the top and right sides are centimeters and it goes to 33 centimeters. And then the, the width of it is 17 inches. So you do get a little more space here on the right side. Um, that's outside of the grid. 
the lines of the grid are in inches. So they line up with the inches side and not necessarily with the centimeter side, just so you're aware of that. Um, and then it also includes, like I mentioned, the cleaning cloth, which is reusable. So you're just going to get it wet, uh, wring it out, wipe things down, and then it will dry again. You can keep it wet by putting it in like a bag or something. I've heard of some people who are putting it in a gallon Ziploc bag, and then they just lift up their glass mat and slide it under because there is a, there are feet at the bottom of this glass mat. And so you do have a little bit of height on there. So you can keep that in mind. And then the other thing that's really fun is it comes with this silicone mat. It's waterproof and heat resistant, and it gives you four pallet squares. And um, I'm gonna just show you. So it's, once it goes on the glass mat, it doesn't move around. So that's going to be a really fun, nice feature. And these little squares do fit the little stamp in spots. So let me go grab one of those. So you can see how it fits inside there. Okay, so you can, you know, use that. And then you can also use this to kind of clean your brushes. You can use it to mix your colors so that instead of using the inside of your ink pad, you can just add ink here and then mix your colors with a little water and ink on this. Um, so really lots of options and fun things that you can do with it. You can do your heat embossing on it because it is heat resistant. Um, so many, so many fun things. Okay. So I'm excited to have this. And when they offered it to demonstrators, it was like the first thing on my list. So um, anyway, so the starter kit to become a demonstrator is, a, is $99. Um, and then you can get this for free. The $99, $99 includes um, your choice of $125 worth of product. So that's awesome. You're already getting a discount. It also includes shipping. And then you can choose one one of these free bonuses. So the first bonus is the Stampin' Glass Matte Studio, or the second option is you get an additional $30 in free products to add to your starter kit. So you can either, you can choose either of those options, not both, but one or the other. So you could spend $99 and get $155 for free, or you could spend $99, get $125 of product, and then the glass mat. So lots of fun things happening during celebration. So again, that's between January 4th. So here's the catalog. So January 4th through February 29th is when celebration is happening. So if you guys have any questions about anything, I'm always happy to answer them. And I would love to have you join my team. So if you're interested in getting the glass mat for free, please reach out um, and get my special link so that you can join. Maybe I'll also include it in the description of this video. And if you would like to get your own catalogs, if you don't have a demonstrator and don't have a set of catalogs yet, please reach out and let me know and I'd be happy to send those to you. Um, and you can do that by clicking in the top right corner there is a link there or in the description below um, to request those catalogs from me. So Merry Christmas, everyone. I see lots of comments popping up saying happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Just wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas next week. I can't believe it's like Monday, right? <laughs> in just a couple of days and then, and a happy new year. And I hope you have a wonderful one and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.